Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Number 26. The energy that will be liberated because of the transition will be E naught Z square 1 by N minus 1 square minus 1 by N square. If you simplify it, it becomes E naught Z square 2N minus 1 upon n square n minus 1 square which becomes approximately because as given in the question n because as given in the question n is very very large it becomes approximately which is tells us that frequency is proportional to 1 by n cube which makes fourth option as the correct option. 27. The variation of angle of deviation with angle of incidence in a prism is like this as we must have studied. So it is a very straightforward question where we know the answer will be simply this graph hence option number 3 is the correct option. Question number 28. In this, what we see is that we have got two charges placed symmetrically about the origin on the x-axis, charge Q at minus A and another charge Q at plus A. And there is another charge Q by 2 which is kept at the origin and displaced by small amount Y as shown here. Now if we write the forces acting, they will be in this particular way. There is a force F acting like this. There is another force F acting like this. Then these are the two forces. And what we need is the vector sum of these two forces. So, this is theta. So the net force acting on this charge particle would be F sine theta twice. This will be the force acting on this charge particle because of these two charges kept here and adding them in this particular direction. Now, if you put the value of these quantities here, what we get is 2k q q naught a square plus y square under root into sin theta which is y a square plus y square under root. This is square of distance and this charge q naught is q by 2. Now when we simplify this and take the appropriate approximation we will realize that this net force is coming directly proportional to y because it is given that y is much much smaller than a. If we apply that to this particular equation this is the direct result that you will get which gives us first option as our correct answer. There are these two magnets magnetic moment M1 there is another magnet magnetic moment M2 kept parallelly we have to find magnetic field at this particular point which is on the bisector and exactly located in between the two magnets. As we can see, magnetic field due to first magnet and the second magnet is directed as I have shown here by the magnetic field lines. Also, we can find magnetic field due to earth here being directed in the same way like this. Because it says they are pointing towards south. So, if this is the south and this is the north then the earth's, geomag the earth's magnetic north pole is right there which will be having magnetic field like this. 
So the net magnetic field at this particular point will be B1 plus B2 plus magnetic field due to R. And if we put value of the magnetic fields, it would be mu naught by 4 pi M1 by R cube plus mu naught by 4 pi M2 by R cube plus magnetic field of earth given in the question, the horizontal component that is 3.6 into 10 raised to power minus 5. If you put the given values in this question, we do not require the length of the magnet as it is given in the question. Alright, we will not need be needing them. We just need the magnetic moment as given in the question. That would be 1.2 and this is 1.0. And if we add all these values, we will get the correct answer which is 2.56 into 10 raised to power minus 4 Weber per meter square which gives option 2. Question number 30. This is a pretty straightforward question because all you have got here is a rod in the form charge distribution Q length L. And what you have to calculate is the potential at a particular point O, which is situated at distance L from this particular magnet, this particular charged wire. Now, if we take a small element at distance x of length dx, the potential at this particular point will be k q by l into dx upon x square upon x for the potential and if we integrate it from l to 2l we will get the complete value of the potential if we calculate it it comes out to be q by 4 pi epsilon naught l ln 2 so that makes option 4 as the correct answer.